Then you don't have control. Alright, so we're in. Look at this, huh? That's supposed to be last chance. La chance. Or maybe last chance. Mm -hmm. I like that. I mean, they have electricity. How bad could it be? All right, what do we got here? Inspect. The man had to drive by every week to fill the bottles. The fresh milk indicated a recent visit. All right. Just looking around. Looks like there's an outhouse over here. This is kind of cool. Look at this. We got some tracks, but it's like some are dark and some aren't. So we got wolves and stuff coming through. It's pretty cool. All right, let's go into the general store and see what's happening. I don't think I can fuel up the truck, but maybe. I'm just gonna see if I can grab that. Oh yeah, I'll inspect. The pumps wouldn't surrender their divine nectar so easily. In all likelihood, they had to be switched on from inside the store. Of course they did. Why wouldn't they? Anything else here? Inspect probably. Something fell to the bottom of the box. Well, of course it did. There's something in there we might need. Oh crap! Uh, this is this isn't going to end well. Carl had no trouble recognizing his employer. He had been killed. There was no need to be a detective to figure that out. But only a detective could have noticed that the killer had to have been very close. That the fatal blow had been given before the victim even realized. <laughs> Alright, so somebody's still in here. Okay, well, let's close this door. No, I'm not going to take out the camera. We're going to go right after somebody right away. If he's still around. No? Let me just open this back door to see if there's somebody running off. Oh crap, there's Maintaining wolves. In his composure, Carl recalled something from his military training. Wolves always stay away from populated areas. Wait, was it about bears? <laughs> this is good to know. I don't see any footprints out here, like somebody just ran off. Alright, so let's close this. I don't see any footprints anywhere. An explosion suddenly occurred outside. No. Carl felt a chill down his spine and had a terrifying realization. If Hamilton was dead, then who was going to pay him? <laughs> That's a good point. Envelope. What could be inside that envelope? Carl was taken aback. He knew this address. It was said to be the address of the P.O. box for the Canadian Secret Service. Hmm. Let's read it. Oh, that's it? Okay. Alright, so Canadian Secret Service. Explosion, so I lost power. The place is a mess. Well, that's helpful. Oh. Cash register.
Okay, there's a key. We're going to need that. Guess we don't really care about the money. What else we got here? Pump. Turn on pump two. What did I turn it on? Yeah, pump two is on. Let's see what this Carl is. Carl knew that Gilles Lachance was in charge of the general store. That made him one of Hamilton's employees. A very angry employee, as Carl could plainly see. When people have fraud in there, they do not taste risk by going to work. So he's sick. I'm going to ask doctor's notes. Meantime, I have to close down the shop. Unless you would like to come and fill it for me. You must know how it's done since it's yours after all. Alright. So we'll keep that. Uh, I suppose we'll check the phones. The snowstorm pummeled everything in its path. Carl was not surprised when he heard no tone. There's something else back here. What else we got here? What is this? Electricity from generator. Alright, so I can't really see these, but we might have to fix this generator. What does it say? General store services. Post office. Alright, so let's bring our flashlight. Oop. Press sale, turn the crank two times, punch the machine if it doesn't work. <laughs> Alright. Red flyer. The economy is booming. the economy, do the resources are booming. What else do we have? So we're on the generator, but obviously the generator isn't working. Let's see what's going on here. The note explained that the garage and the store couldn't be supplied with electricity at the same time. Of course. Hmm. Alright, so the note explain that the garage and the store couldn't be supplied with electricity at the same time. Alright, so the store, turn on. And the garage is turned off, so we still don't have power. We're going to figure out what's going on. So let's go. Just out front here. See if we can find out what's in the post office box. And fill up the car. Alright, so put away the flashlight. Looks like nobody's messed with the vehicle. The pumps wouldn't surrender their divine nectar so easily. In all likelihood, they had to be switched on from the inside the store. Alright, so we probably have to get the generator back up before we can get fuel. See if there's anything I can get out of this, though. Oh. A gun. Probably used to kill. Weapon. What was that doing there, Carl wondered. Hamilton must have been determined to keep some information secret to post this key. He got unlucky. Everything made sense now. Poor Hamilton's denunciation was interrupted, and he figured it would be best to lock everything up and send the key to his correspondent, who would receive the box later on. Hmm. Clever, but not enough. That's what happens to ordinary people playing spy. Hmm. Hamilton was a spy? 
Mm -hmm. Oh, to the proper authorities. The worst is happening at this very moment. I cannot write at length, but I'm requesting immediate help. I believe the free world is in grave danger. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to have to figure out how to get that generator working. Let's see what we can do here. Actually, can I save? I can't save. Okay. I think the game is mostly built on checkpoints, so... Okay, break lock. Ooh, this lock cutter is coming in good. Coming real handy. Alright, so what do we need to do here? No, nothing here. Looks like the generator. Okay, fixed generator. I need, what is that, tape and pliers? Carl was no electrician, but he could identify a wiring problem when he saw one. So let's, can we start a fire here as well? I don't know, should I start a fire? I just don't know how many resources I'm going to be needing. Let's see if we can go into the garage first. Anything over here? Trash can, maybe? What's in here? Did someone throw something in there? No. Alright, let's get in here. Apparently, I don't have the right lock. Can't get in through here? No. Alright, it's starting to get a little cold. We better start a fire back here. Start up a fire. Now my mind get a little bit better. All right, let's take a look around, see if we can find these supplies. I mean, I'm in a general store, so obviously they're going to be all over the place. This. Carl was used to strange phenomena, but a chunk of ice like this, as if an iceberg came out of the ground, that was a first. Prince? Carl found a surprise at every turn. Was the camera faulty, or was it a possible lead? All right, let's go back in the store. Flashlight. Alright, I got a revolver. Alright, so let's find some pliers. We got tools all over the place. Food. Pliers and duct tape. I can take these bullets though. Oh, these aren't bullets. Fire starter, fire starter. What else we got? Fragile, fragile, fragile. What's this? Beef jerky. No thanks. I ate too many of these in Korea. Can jars. Need some pliers and duct tape. What do we have? Do we have anything back here? A record player. For 
mistake kit. Alright, so we got some drawers. Alright, so we got a key to the garage, it looks like. What else? Anything else? Looks like we got a lot of drawers here, so let's check these. Oh, what's this? Customer credit. According to that log, it seemed like the whole village owed some money to the general store. Carl was far more interested in the bunch of nearby addresses he had just gotten his hands on, though. Okay. Let's see what else we have. All right, good. We got duct tape. Matches. Check the more drawers. Uh, not much there. These drawers don't have anything. All right, so I don't think we have the pliers yet. I think we have to go back into the garage. All right, let's put the flashlight away. Open this up. Let's go get warmed up for a second. I don't know what the uh, the eye icon is because I think it's something just because I'm in the I'm outside where I can see and I don't need the flashlight, but I believe. All right, warmed up a little bit. Let's go back to the garage door. See if we can find our way in. Get a pair of pliers. I don't know if you can hear this music, but like a really subtle. All right, let's uh, clean a spot. All right, so we need a pliers here. that nuts and bolts pliers okay so we should have everything we need for that let's see what else we got in here though this milk is gonna freeze all right nothing in the trunk kind of a nice car in here this is blocked off for no apparent reason all right so let's get out of here get this I don't think we're going to be able to open this door. Let's get the generator up and running. Put away the flashlight. You can still hear the radio out here. Otherwise it's kind of a... suspenseful. Alright, so let's get this repaired. I don't see anything around besides these wolves. Alright, so I'm gonna fix this. Okay, now I assume this is gonna have fuel in it. Alright, so this is running. So let's go in here. The first thing we're gonna do is we powered this on, remember? So we have the store on, the garage is off. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna pump up. <laughs> yeah, I turned that on, but I didn't think it would still be on, but let's turn that off for a second. Let's start this uh, fuel up. Let's get the car or our truck fueled up before anything else happens. Mm -hmm. Yeah, before anything else happens. Anything, anybody out here? Yeah, I like worry that somebody's gonna pop out. You know, like a murderer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fill it up, fill it up, fill it up. Mm -hmm. Fill it up. 
Do it, do it now. Alright. Wait, what's it say? Fill gas can. Uh, I don't have a gas can. But I definitely... Carl, you straight away where to find the infuriated Gilles Lachance. Any good investigation would have to start there. Alright, so the next step is find him. Let me just see if there's a gas can. It is a fill up gas can. Maybe that's for later. Mysterious unbranded cans. Maple syrup. I don't think there was a gas can, but let's let's uh, switch this over. To the garage just to see if there's anything in here. Gotta look around, make sure there's nothing following me. Warm me up for a second. Looks like my own footprints. Because now I have to be paranoid about everything. Alright, so what is this here? Lay down the ground, close these. Open up, close. Alright, so what do we got? We got this. Was stuck under the lift. Okay. Notwithstanding so. Carl's imposing stature, car lifting wasn't part of his skill set yet. Alright, so I'm gonna need this crowbar for something. I just get that feeling, you know? So how do I turn on this uh Duh. <laughs> All right, so we lift that up. We get this crowbar. At long last, the crowbar was within Carl's grasp. Surely Swing it would come it. in handy at some point. Holy crap! Mm. Awesome. Okay. I don't think there's anything else. Alright, I think we're gonna get out of here and find La Chance. I think that's the next step for us. Alright. Alright, so put that away. for five seconds and I'm just gonna sit in this chair. No one. Alright so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off the generator in case we need to save this power for later. Alright so I turned off the power. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna switch this back over to the general store so that when we do turn it on I'll be ready to go. Turn on the store. Alright. Now let's get out of here.